Hey everyone, this is Truveen and today I am going to talk about one of the interesting trick about Power Automate. Sometime what happen here is we have the people picker column into SharePoint list and we want to clear the people picker value using Power Automate. Then how can I do that? Most of the time when we are passing null over there, it is not clearing the value of people picker column from Power Automate. It is the specific case while you have the single value accepted as a people picker column. Then what is the turnaround and what is the alternative behind that? I am going to talk about that trick in detail over here but before that here is an intro. Here I am on my machine and here you can see that I have one SharePoint list called leaves. Here I have one people picker column called manager. And the manager column is a single value expected as a people picker column. Now the requirement is something like whenever the item is updated, I want to clear out the manager value. Meaning I wanted to remove the value from this people picker column. Then how can I do? So here I have created one manual trigger flow. In manual trigger flow with the regular procedure if you are using the update item and passing the null value to the manager column then what happen here is it will not work. It will not clear out the manager value as blank. Then what is the alternative turnaround? The alternative turnaround is that we need to add an action called send an HTTP request to the SharePoint. So just add an action, send the HTTP request to SharePoint, then just provide your site address and method as post method. Then in URI, you need to provide this URI underscore API slash web slash list slash get by title. Then you need to provide your list name and then items and what is the ID of that item. So at this moment, I'm taking seven ID as manual. Then in the headers, you need to pass four parameters, content type, if match, XHTTP method and accept. And these are the appropriate value according to that. And do not worry, I'm going to provide this code in my GitHub repository. So you can copy and paste this action from there. Then in the body, first of all, you need to pass the parameter metadata into which type we need to provide sp.data dot the list name that is leaves and then list item that is a static word. Then you need to provide your column name. So my people picker column name is manager. So first of all provide the column name that is manager and then string id just append this word. Similar way the column name manager and that id. That we need to pass as minus one and string we need to pass as a blank. Once we follow this procedure only at that time your people picker value become null. Otherwise it will not be clear over there. Now let me just remove the unwanted action from here that is update item and get item that I just took for your reference and now just have this action over here and just save your power automate flow. And now let's try to execute this flow and this is the item id number 7. So if we check that its item id is 7. So let's see that if manager value become blank or not over here. So let's run this flow. So I'm just trying to test and I'm just manually triggering the flow. And here we are. The flow ran successfully. And let's just refresh this list. And here you can see that manager value cleared from here. Right. So this is how you can easily clear your people picker value using Power Automate flow. Hope this tip is helpful to you. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay connected with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. I am uploading new video related Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agents, Teams and SharePoint every day on my channel. So make sure that you hit subscribe and never miss any updates from my channel. Also, if you are looking for any consultancy, here is the website. Click on that. It will redirecting you to this page. Go to the contact page and fill out the register information and I will reach back to you. If you are looking for, follow me on all social media handles. Here is the link. 
Here you will find all my things over here. You can follow me on my LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and GitHub repository. If you wanted to follow me on Instagram, here is the Instagram account where you can follow me and learn different power platform concept with the help of reels, post and different IGTV videos. So follow me over this as well. Also, if you are interested for different audio podcast for power platform, here is the link. Just click on that. It will be redirecting you to my podcast homepage. From here, you can listen your favorite power platform podcast on different podcast platform like Google podcast, Apple podcast, Spotify and much more. This is Dravin signing off. See you in the next session. Have a great day. Goodbye.